This is Philip Brown, Chief Physician at New Hanover Regional Medical Center. My message today is to the African American community here in Wilmington, North Carolina and the surrounding region, as well as my friends well beyond that. I wanna talk just a minute about the disparities that we're seeing across the country in terms of COVID-19. The African American community across our country makes up 33% of the hospitalized patients, but only 13% of the overall population. This means that you are at significantly increased risk for this viral disease. There are many reasons for this. We do know from the Human Genome Project in the 1990s that genetics is not one of them. The Human Genome Project showed that the genetic code for the human race was 99.98% the same. So that means that these disparities are caused by other factors that we know have been in existence for quite some time. Structural racism is at the root of these disparities. We need to make some significant changes and I truly believe we will. But we gotta start right now by working from where we are. So the first thing that needs to occur is true education. There really are four key things that every one of us needs to do to protect ourselves from the virus. The first thing is to use six foot physical spacing, staying distant from people in, in your physical space. The second is frequent hand washing for 20 to 30 seconds, as often as you can. The third is strict avoidance of gathering, certainly not in crowds of 10 or more, and hopefully in as small a groups as possible. And fourthly, cloth masks in public. I understand that there's significant stigma and concern around what it might mean for an African American to wear a mask in public. But I can assure you that my consistent message will be that everyone needs to wear a mask in public. This is very important in order for you to be able to protect yourself, your friends, family, and neighbors from exposure to COVID-19 and spread of this very dangerous viral disease. It's important to know that for those who do become sick enough to be hospitalized, we at New Hanover Regional Medical Center will be there We've been making preparations and we will be there for you. But it's also important to know that in the current state, there are no proven medications that effectively treat COVID-19. There are a number of experimental trials going on all over the country and hopefully something will soon show real promise in treating COVID-19. But until then, your hospital will be there to support you with all the supportive care we possibly can while your immune system fights off the virus. So it's even more important than ever to make sure that you're doing the things necessary to not come in contact with the virus because we know that the African-American community is at increased risk. That does not have to be our reality here in Wilmington. So my request of you is to observe the four 
key prevention measures. Know that even though it has not seemed like it through much of our history, in reality, we are all in this together. Each of our behavioral choices can make a difference in controlling COVID-19 and can help keep you safe. I'm committed to doing that across our entire community, and I'm asking you to please join with me in keeping us all safe. Thank you.